Hey guys, welcome back to WP Web Manager. In this series, we are talking about our registration add-on, and today's topic will be how to create and my registration page, so your users can see their own registration or how many events they have registered for and, and the respective data for those in the front end side. So for that, we need to create a new page first. Let us create a new page. So from here, we need to type in a title for our page. Let's say my registrations. And I am using the Gutenberg code editor, not the default uh, visual editor. So how you can switch to code editor, if you click these three dots in our very right hand top corner. And from this editor section, you can either choose visual editor or code editor. So I'm using code editor as it's very convenient working with short codes and stuff. So if we type out a short code, that will be my registrations. I will include this short code in the description for your convenience. So what this my registration short code does, it comes from our event registration add-on. And if we hit publish, I'll show you what it does in a second. So let's open this page in a new tab. And here we have our registration data. So what it does, it shows all the registration data for the user who's logged in currently. So we have registered for our demo event in our previous video. So here we have our event name, our date when we registered and our event registration status and then we have a unregister button so if we click this this will delete the entry or the registration for that event if we had registered for a multiple event we would be able to see a more list over here or more entries one would say down here as well so if we click this link we will be able to visit the event single details page as well so this little short code this one liner makes that much difference in the front end side so your user can have the ability to check the registration for all the events in a single place combined i personally think this short code or this my registration page brings a lot of improvements to the user experience if you are running an event listing website and you accept registrations for those events as well so I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, leave a like in this video if you did. And if you're enjoying our content so far, uh, subscribe to the channel will be phenomenal. So being that said, I am Shara signing off. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.